Okay, we, for today's video, we have a video I'm super excited to make. Uh, these are some of my favorite videos to make. For one, I get a lot of really cool figures for a really good price. I get to talk about a variety of prehistoric animals, and you all really seem to enjoy them. So, uh, if you didn't tell by the title, this is a video where I'm going to go over a lot of prehistoric animal figures, including dinosaurs and prehistoric mammals. The, this is one of my first times I'm really going to get to talk about um, prehistoric mammals at least a little bit in depth on the channel. Um, the only times I really got to talk about prehistoric mammals on the channel are like my collection videos and where it's going over the whole collection. I don't really get a lot of time to just talk about individual animals, but this video, hopefully I get to talk a little bit more about them. Um, and this was my first time using Mercari. Uh, almost all my older figures that I've ordered have been almost exclusively from eBay, unless I just find a website that happens to have some retired ones. Uh, but all these were from Mercari from one seller. Um. So we'll just get right into it. So, and like I said, um, this is I'm super I'm super super excited to talk about this video or this lot in, in particular because um, it's just got a variety of really cool retired dinosaurs and prehistoric mammals. And like I said, the prehistoric mammals haven't got to talk a ton about. So yeah, um, so it's kind of a three lots in one video, and what I mean by that is. Um, so what I was explaining about the three in lot, three lots in one part is this seller had um, a few lots listed when I first got on Mercari, and then um, he added a lot, which looked really awesome. And he had one lot that had already sold that had a figure I really wanted, but that figure was sold, and I'll explain a little bit about that in a little bit. But he had one lot that I wanted to get, and then he listed another lot like right away that I wanted to get. Um, and the lot he listed that made me want to get the lot was the prehistoric mammal lot. So, uh, I made an offer for the two combined lots. That's one thing I've noticed I really like about Mercari, how you can combine lots and get, like, save money on shipping and stuff. So, I made an offer for the two combined lots of the prehistoric mammals and some dinosaurs. And um, he went a little bit higher than my original bid. And then I realized uh, somebody made an offer for one of the two lots, and I was like, okay, I don't want to play around with this. I'd rather just get it instead of saving a few dollars or risk it going away. So I went back and messaged him and said, would you give me that original offer again? And he gave it to me. So I accepted it. Um, and then he made a listing that featured two of the figures from one of the lots, and I messaged him, and I was like, um, is my lot still good, or did you accidentally sell, like, Two of the figures and he said no I had multiples and that's why he made a separate listing that included two of the figures in one of my orders and um he did say that there was one slight issue with the order and that the shipping like got messed up in where Mercari didn't like combine the two lots together for the shipping price uh, and he told me like one of the two shippings was going to be a little bit quicker but cost a little bit more and I went with the slower one and it ended up coming in only three days so the shipping really didn't even matter and he asked me since uh, since it got messed up if I, there's any figures he'd want me to throw in. And the lot that had sold already that I mentioned that I was going to talk about in a little bit featured um, a particular figure that I really wanted and some of the baby versions of that figure. So that figure, I messaged if he had any more of those, and he said he didn't have any more of the adult one, which was the one I really wanted. But he said, I will just throw in a baby one if you want it. And I said, yeah, I'll definitely take it, even though I did already own one of the babies. Um, and then he also asked me, um, if there was any other figures I'd want that weren't listed. And I said, um, do you have any older retired safari figures that you don't have listed currently? And he sent me a list, and he had one in particular that I really wanted. And I said, yeah, I'd love to take that. Um, just what will the price be with it? And he told me the price, and he said he would throw in um, the baby version of this figure. So, yeah, let's just get right into it. So, the original lot um, that he had listed... Well, so, uh, also, whenever he told me, like, he'd throw that figure in, he just made a whole separate um, thing for me to order. So, it worked out really well. I ended up getting a ton of figures for a great price. Uh, and I saved, like, $10 with this, like, sign-up thing, which I'll tell you all how you can do that as well. But, um, yeah, the first lot, this was the one that he had listed when I first um, saw his, like, his page. And it featured the Parasaurolophus, the baby Parasaurolophus, the adult Parasaurolophus, and another adult Parasaurolophus, or Parasaur Parasaurolophus, Parasaurolophus. I've heard both ways, and I've kind of said both before. Um, it kind of just depends on the day. And it also featured one more figure, um, and that is 
the Safari LTD old retired car card onto source. These figures actually all have really similar color schemes, so um, we'll free them out of their plastic wrap prison, which they've probably been in for a while because these are some older figures. Um, and like I know this lot is a kind of repetitive lot considering three of the figures are the adult Parasaurolophus and two or three are the adult Parasaurolophus but I actually didn't own a single version of this figure so I was completely fine with getting repeats so here's that Carcharodontosaurus we'll just move the box out of the way but I was I'll be honest I was surprised all these figures were able to fit in that box so yeah the adult Safari LTD Carcharodontosaurus um all of these Parasaurolophus and I know it kind of would be an issue to some people to get this many of the same figure but I'm completely fine with it because, for one, um, with hadrosaurs being just, like, super herd animals, like, we know hadrosaurs would stay in herds. I'm completely fine with having multiples of hadrosaurs to just form a herd. And since I didn't own this figure already, I was completely fine with getting a few extras. And just, I've recently, like, gotten really big into hadrosaurs. They've, probably since this channel's came out, they've probably, them and theropods have, like, probably easily been the bulk of what I've added to the collection. So, it kind of makes its own little scene here. Obviously, Parasaurolophus didn't live with Carcharodontosaurus. Um, different time periods. Um, one lives in the late Cretaceous, one lives in the earlier Cretaceous, and um, one lives in North America, and one lives in Africa. But, you know, if it was a Ronosaurus or, you know, um, something like Despletosaurus, it would make a working scene. But it kind of makes a little scene in its own, right? Just a theropod hunting... Um, a group of hadrosaurs. So I thought it was a cool little lot. And I don't know if I would have bought this lot if this second lot didn't get thrown up as well. But once I saw that lot, this lot, um, I knew I wanted to get both of them. So that's why I made the offer. And I was so glad we were able to make a deal on the lot. But I also um, have kind of hinted at this video. Not really. But um, the last two videos that came out on the channel, the... Um, I can't even remember what they were, but I threw in one of these two. I threw in uh, the baby Parasaurolophus in that video, and I already actually owned two of the babies, but I didn't own any of the adults. So now I'll have a perfect set of three babies and three adults. But like I was saying earlier, this is a very similar color scheme. And I know that Safari does have an updated Carcharodontosaurus, but I actually really like this old one. Obviously, it's not as accurate as the new one, but something about this one I do really like. Next up, we have the second lot that he threw up, which made me definitely want to made me make the offer of the two combined lots. And this is the prehistoric mammal lot. Uh, I actually own three of the four figures in this lot, so it definitely wasn't a necessary lot. But the one figure that wasn't in it, I've tried to order before individually. But I'll be honest, I was completely fine with getting the repeats because these three figures are three of my favorites that I've had in my collection for a while. So we'll just go with the first one I pulled out, which is the Safari LTD. Um, Sabretooth Cat. Um, this is one of my favorite figures um, I own. I actually have the baby as well, um, which I think has actually become a pretty hard figure to get because I don't think they remade it whenever. So, um, Safari LTD, whenever they like came out with their like second line of figures, or like um, whenever they retired the mammals for some reason, but then brought the mammals back. And I think it's like the only time they've ever like retired a figure and then bring it, brought it back. I think it was some deal with the Carney collection, but I don't think um, whenever they made it, they brought back this figure, which is the Sabretooth cat, either cub or kitten. Uh, I think it would be cub, but mine's actually in pretty good condition considering this is one that I remember playing with a lot. But um, after looking at it, I did want to see if there was any like definite major details to like differentiate the two and you can see like the, the newer one does have like a lot bigger claws and mine does have some wear on the claws um i will be taking the tags and stuff off but you can definitely see a little bit of wear like on the toes and stuff but really for one that i remember playing with as much as i did this one is in really good shape and i definitely like having like a little group of saber tooth cats or Smilodon. I don't know if these were their specific species. Um, yeah, the, the baby says Sabretooth Tiger, which, you know, that's kind of got outdated by now. Yeah, Sabretooth Tiger. They actually all say Sabretooth Tiger on them, which, you know, is kind of outdated now because we know that they were not tigers. 
Um, and then next up we have the, oh, this is one I'm excited to talk about, the Andrew Sarkis. Um, Andrew Sarkis is such a cool animal. Um, this is one of the ones that I already own, if I didn't mention that already, but Andrew Sarkis is such a cool prehistoric animal. Um, we've known it's not a wolf, but it's got very, like, wolf-like characteristics. Uh, this one actually looks a lot different than mine, uh, at least paint scheme-wise. This one's a lot, like, brighter yellow than mine, and mine might have been like that originally, but the stripes are way more, like, dark and bold on this one. So these ones definitely look a good bit different. This one will probably be like a, if I, since I will have these two standing beside each other, this one will probably be like the female, like a less bright colors, and this one will be the male. You know, slight sexual dimorphism, which is present in almost every animal, at least to a slight degree. Uh, so yeah, definitely glad to get another Andrew Sarkis, because I think that was, I can't remember if that one got brought back or not, but um, it is such a cool figure. And Andrew Sarkis has changed a lot. Now we think it almost looks something like an Antelodont, which actually is something that it might have been closely related to. Um, and now we have probably the most popular prehistoric mammal, the, um, mammoth. This technically makes my fourth Safari mammoth, not counting tube figures. Um, if you count tube figures, it's probably my sixth. But as far as, like, larger figures, because I have the, the Carnegie one, um, I have the a second version of this one, so here's this one that I got, um, I will take the tags and stuff all off after the video, or maybe at the end, like, for a big group shot, but, um, uh, we'll keep it on for now, but, yeah, I've got this one, I've got an older one of this one that I've got, I've got the baby one, and I've got the Carnegie one, so here's the one that I have, um, as you can tell, they're pretty much the exact same figure, the tusk warp on this one a little easily, so, They'll be kind of easy to differentiate because this one's tusks are very warped and mine, older one's not. And the feet actually are a little bit different. Like this one actually stands better on all fours and mine kind of is rockier. So here's the baby one. So, you know, mammoths are kind of like hadrosaurs, completely fine with having multiples because, you know, they're herd animals. And here's the trunks. Like mine's kind of beat up on the tip of the nose, but honestly... Very good condition for, like, the saber tooth cat, the play degree I had with these. And also on the noses of the Andrew Sarkis. And the final mammal, this is the one that I didn't have a figure of. I think they brought this one back, but I think it honestly looked a little bit different when they brought it back. And it looked, I'll be honest, I thought it looked worse when they brought it back. And here it is. It is the Safari LTD Ambelodon. Um, this is obviously, like... Is it a pachyderm? I, got, I honestly should know it, but it's in the group that's like includes elephants and mammoths. Uh, really cool animal. Honestly, don't know a ton about it, but this is such an awesome figure. Now, I've definitely, I've missed, like I said, I missed out on getting this figure at one point. So whenever I saw another chance to get it, I definitely want to get it. And these are some older Safari figures, but as you can tell, Safari really knew what they were doing with prehistoric mammals. Because these figures look great. They literally look like animals from today. But, you know, we don't really know exactly what they look like. Um, except, you know, we kind of know Andrew Sarkis probably didn't look this wolf-like. But, uh, yeah, definitely glad. I, and I know I probably didn't need to buy this lot. Because, you know, I literally had the major. I had 75% of this lot. But I love prehistoric mammals. I'm honestly sad that I haven't talked more about them on the channel. I definitely plan on talking more about mammals. Specifically prehistoric mammals more in the future. Maybe I'll review one of these figures. Andrew Sarkis would be a great one to review because it's just changed so much over the years, especially since this figure came out. Uh, but yeah, th I love these prehistoric mammals. They're so cool. And this Sabertooth Cat, I think, is still one of the best um, Sabertooth Cat models we have ever to come out. And I think this one's actually still available at Safari. Uh, if any of these are still available on Safari's website, I will put a link. I know this one's not. And I'm honestly, I can't remember if they brought the Andrew Sarkis back or if it's even still available or what. But if it is, I'll put a link to it. But I'm, the Mammoth and the Sabertooth Cat are probably available. And if they are, I'll put a link to them. But I honestly can't remember for sure. While looking at the Parasaurolophus babies or Parasaurolophus or Parasaurolophus, whatever, I noticed that there is a few slight differences in the models. And actually, the new one I got is actually more similar to one of the older ones I had than, the, than as similar as the two older ones were. So... Um, if you look at the head mold, this one has like a lot larger, like duck bill looking head. And this one has like a more slanted off head. And also on the fingernails, 
Um, this one has some like way like larger fingernails. It's very slight. I don't even know if the camera's picking up on it as well, but this one lacks it. And this figure is actually more similar to this one um, as far as the head. Well, this one almost looks like an in-between between the... Well, no. You can see this one looks this one looks like a super young one compared to these two, which is kind of funny that I'm sure these two were bought at the exact same time, but it's funny that this one looks more similar to this one than the two that I've had. Uh, that's just a tiny little detail that probably most people don't even care about, but it's just a random little thing I noticed. But now we'll get into the last little lot. Okay, for the final lot, uh, so how I was saying that the seller had one lot that was already sold that I really wish I had already seen, but I didn't see it whenever I made the, well, I'd seen it, but it had sold, it was before I made a Mercari account, but like just a few, like a week before, he had sold a lot of the adult Hippacrosaurus and like three baby Hippacrosaurus. And I'll be honest, I was so upset because I've been looking for that Hippacrosaurus for a while and to see one sell for such a good price because this seller, like, I think this whole lot was cheaper. I ended up getting it for like under $40. I think it would have been like right around 50 with shipping and um, with shipping and um, just the original price. But I did pay shipping, obviously, but I didn't have to pay the, I saved $10 and that's why it was like right under 40. So I got the free baby Hippacrosaurus, which was honestly a crazy good get. I don't know if he just didn't know how much these are worth, but the baby Hippacrosaurus is a very hard figure to get. And this is one I actually did own already, and that's why I did really want to get the adult one. But you can see mine's a little bit worse shape. Um, the tail on mine has yellowed, well, you know, just the paint's chip. And this one looks a little bit darker as well, so I was definitely glad to get another baby Hippacrosaurus. But if you know what this means, I have to get that adult one now. Uh, and that's what stunk about that lot. They, it was a new one as well, so it would have been really awesome to have just got... Um, the adult Hippacrosaurus to go with um, the baby ones because I love Hippacrosaurus. It's such a cool hadrosaur, super underrated, and this model by Safari is like the only one that's ever been made is, that I'm aware of at least. Okay, and now we have two figures left. So this was the one that I said. He showed me a list of available figures. I'll read off that list right now. So he had all, he had the old retired Pachycephalosaurus, the old retired Apatosaurus, Stegosaurus, Ceratosaurus, and the Pterosaur, which I think is the old Pteranodon. And I think I have a model really similar to it, so that's why I didn't care for it. The Ceratosaurus, I do have the old Ceratosaurus, so I didn't need it. Um, he had the old Stegosaurus, which I have a version of. It's not the Carnegie one, but the other one, I assume, which had like three or four different color variants. And I had probably my favorite color variant of it, so I didn't really care for it. And the Pachycephalosaurus, I kind of liked. But whenever he said the Apatosaurus, it was a figure that I'd honestly considered just buying individually because I liked it so much. But And then I asked him if it was the one standing on its two legs and... It was. You can barely see it in the frame. It's so big. Um, well, tall at least. I guess we'll sit him like this. I don't know. He won't stay like that. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's so cool. I love having sauropods in this stance um, on their back legs. It's just so cool. I wish I could get it better in frame. Um, okay, hopefully my... Uh, trying to make it where the camera doesn't fall over, but it's visible. But yeah, whenever I asked him if it was the one standing on its two legs, he said yes. And I was like, oh, I have to get that figure because Collect I did the Diplodocus, which I really want to get. Um, might get that one for Christmas, actually. Um, I did have it on my list, so we'll see. Hopefully it comes. Um, but this figure is such a cool one. I love the sauropods standing on their back legs. Obviously it happened in Jurassic Park, but I actually had seen it. And I think it was in Walking with Dinosaurs where the Diplodocus stood up on its two legs. And I remember that scene so much. Uh, so I thought of Storopod saying, and, you know, if you know, you know, the Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus. Honestly, Brachiosaurus, we found out, would be one of the few sauropods. Well, maybe not few, but one of the sauropods that definitely couldn't do it because its front half was so much heavier than its back half. That's why it's with its front arms being larger than its back legs. So... We found out Brachiosaurus actually was incapable of doing that, but I believe sauropods like Apatosaurus and Diplodocus would be able to. I don't know. One, the only thing that I wonder about with the whole standing on their back legs thing is if they would actually use their tail for support like this because you think it would almost break if they did that, but I'm not for sure. So that's the only thing that I'm honestly really curious about with the standing legs on sauropods. So if anybody has a good idea or knows what the reason is, I would love to know. Uh, 
But whenever he said he would throw in the baby one, he did throw in the baby Apatosaurus. And honestly, I didn't really need this figure because kind of like that baby Parasaurolophus, I actually already had two of that figure. Um, so. Oh, and this one's kind of like the same situation with the um, Parasaurolophus. Like I noticed it right off the bat. So the spots on these two, how this one has like almost black spots and this one has um, more of that color on the back. Um, this one actually has that coloration as well. It's actually a little bit brighter on this one and it's more faded on this one. So they actually all kind of differentiate each other. So that is awesome. So yeah, so that's the whole lot. Um, an awesome lot. Glad to finally use Mercari and have such an awesome experience with Mercari. Oh, there is one thing I have to do. After seeing this Apatosaurus um, and getting the Carcharodontosaurus, there was one scene that I thought would look so cool to do with these figures. And it's this, have the Carcharodontosaurus be like down low and the Apatosaurus going up to stomp it. <laughs> um, I just think that's a cool looking scene. It would work better if the sauropod was bigger and was like, you know, something that lived in its formation because obviously, you know, Carcharodontosaurus was a little bit bigger than the theropods. The Apatosaurus would have lived with like Allosaurus, but you know, can't have um, exactly that. But yeah, now we'll, I guess we'll show off the full lot and explain a little bit more about Mercari. Okay, so here we've got the full lot picture. Um, like I said earlier, I'm shocked this whole lot fit in this little box. Um, it was a super heavy little box, I'll say, but whenever I saw the box, I was like, did they really all fit in there? Did they really ship all the figures? But yeah, they all, this whole lot was in here. And like I said, I got this whole lot for like under 40, so don't think you can do much better than that. I mean, literally, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve figures, if I did the math right, which looks like we did. Um, but yeah, now I'll explain a little bit about Mercari. Like I said earlier in the video, um, and I'm kind of sorry, but there's probably like five minutes of this video where you don't even see a figure, and then I like kind of explain everything, then go over the figures. But I, I hope you got to this point because um, I do think it was a really good lot. If you I wish that Apatosaurus was honestly the tiniest bit shorter, though, because you can barely see it in the frame, but, you know, it is what it is. Honestly, I'd rather it be too big, actually, but it does think that it's, like, barely cut out. But, uh, yeah, like I said before, most of my older figure lots that I've done on this channel have been almost exclusively through eBay, but the reason why I decided to use Mercari is... I can't remember exactly which YouTuber it is. I, I don't want to discredit the wrong one, but I'm pretty sure um, it was Andy's Dinosaur Review, and he had put um, a link to uh, one of the older Safari figures that I've been looking for, but it sold like before I even got to the listing, and I didn't have a Mercari account, so you know, at the time, I don't know if I would have been able to, but now that I look back, seeing how fast and easy it is to make a Mercari account, and this is the second time he's posted a listing for this figure, and this is a figure that I've been wanting for a while, um, one of the Carnegie figures that I've been looking for, but missed out on it. So hopefully I can find it now that I have my own Mercari account set up and I've got like the thing where if anybody posts um, a specific link or anything, it'll like notify me of this figure getting posted. But um, after I'd seen him post it twice and me still not have the figure, I knew I had to get Mercari. And whenever I, I used his link to sign up, um, I got a free $10 thing that I could use on any purchase over $20. So actually when originally he made, had these two list or these, how it was two listings at first and then threw in the extra lot kind of, uh, whenever it was two listings, I couldn't use my thing, but whenever he made it its own separate listing and it was over 20, I was able to save my, I was able to use my $10 thing, which was awesome. So if you sign up under the link, I'll put, so I'm gonna show you all my Mercari link. And I think you have to use it by the end of this year if you make the account. But I think you can use it for the next 60 days. So uh, just make the account. And if you want to use it, it would help me. It would give me a little bit more money to spend. And it would also give you some money to spend. So I think that's a win-win. Uh, so I'll, I'll definitely put my Mercari link so you can make an account. And you can get some money. And I can get some money if you make a purchase. So, you know, I, th I think that's a pretty good win-win. But you have to create the account by the end of this year. So... You got a little under, well, you got a few days. <laughs> but, you know, with Christmas coming right around the corner, you know, maybe you can find something to get right before Christmas. I don't know if it'll ship in time, but, you know, maybe it will. Um, but, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And hopefully um, you all try out Mercari. 
I'm not sponsored or anything. It's just, you know, I see an opportunity for you all to get some good figures for some good prices and for me to get a little bit of money to buy some more figures. So, you know, I think that's the perfect win-win. You know, I got, I was able to get all these figures and you all can probably get a similar lot if you, uh, and if you want to get some help trying to find a good lot like this, I might can help you with that. Just put a comment or something below. But yeah, I can't believe I was able to get this lot for such a good price. All thanks to that specific seller and Mercari. And I'll just run through the lot one more time. So we got three of the adult Parasaurolophus, one baby, one baby Hippacrosaurus, one baby Hepatosaurus, the adult Hepatosaurus, the Carcharodontosaurus, the Ambelodon, the Mammoth, the Sabertooth Tiger, really Sabertooth Cat, and the Andrew Sarkis, who were able to get all 12 of these figures for a really good price. Really, this lot should have probably been altogether over closer to 100, but I got it for almost half that. I did get it for under half that. So hopefully this lot, lot um, helps you get some good figures from Mercari for a good price, because like I said, it definitely helped me, and I think it will be able to help you find some good figures for a good price as well. Um, and like I said earlier, if any of these figures are available on Safari's website, and I think that's a big if, I think these two might, the Sabertooth Cat and the Woolly Mammoth, they might, but I don't think any of the rest of these are. Like this Carcharodontosaurus, I know has been out for a while, and I think almost all these have not been in production for a while, but those two might be. So if they are, I will. And I remember, I will put that Mercari link, so, you know, hopefully you all make an account because it'll help me and it will help you as well. So, you know, win-win. Okay, here's the last little clip just to show just how tall this Apatosaurus is. Uh, it dwarfs almost all the figures on here. The Mammoth's the closest thing, and it's a good bit taller than it. And like I said, I love seeing the sauropod standing figures and definitely hope to add that Collect Diplodocus, you know, to show off another standing sauropod.